Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do a daily vibes for the 23rd. So, January 23rd, Wednesday. We're just going to see whatever comes up. This may or may not be for you. I'm not accepting private readings at this time. I'm done for a while. I'm overbooked because, you know, I like to do that. And now I've got to work them down. So, yeah, no private readings are being booked right now. I am going to continue to do these and, and what I got. So, January 23rd. Courage. Courage. Good card. Really good card. I find the inner strength to face fear with confidence. So somebody's finding the courage to face their fears. That's big. It really is. And on the 23rd, Wednesday. What else do we got for an overall energy? Now remember, this reading is for anybody, whoever. It doesn't, maybe it's for you, maybe it's for not. Right now I'm working on the singles readings. I've got the earth signs and the water signs done for the week ahead. Um, i got to do the fire and the air next, and then I will release them all, so stay tuned for those. <gasps> the High Priestess, we had this like a couple days ago, right? This is knowing. Knowing what you got to do, using silence as your tool being told what you need to do, Tell, being told what your fear is, you know. Somebody is being guided, okay, and hearing what they need to do, and they know what they need to do. But they may be, you know, uh, keeping it to themselves, really not revealing what the next step is, but deep down they know that they have to do something. It takes courage. It takes courage to follow your intuition. That's for damn sure. Trust it. This card says that you have a lot of inner wisdom. Trust it. You know. You know. what you need to do and that's what this card says you can't hide it forever and it's going to definitely take courage to follow your intuition end of story right to follow your path What do we got for Wednesday the 23rd? <laughs> Somebody could be turning away, moving out, <laughs> leaving a, a situation that was very unstable and insecure. Could be literally like moving. I'm moving. I'm, I'm leaving this unstable situation. There's too much feuding going on here. I'm turning away from this. This is like this could be leaving like a family, okay, or leaving leaving home. Lack of abundance. Remember, yesterday's was about abundance. Upright. This card is full of pentacles. I mean, full of abundance. I can't save this anymore. There's no more abundance here. Somebody may have been trying to hide the truth. <laughs> trying to delay the inevitable. Definitely trying to delay it, right? But now they're at this crossroads for real. And there's so much fear of change, 
so much and somebody has restricted themselves staying in the safest spot it's like it's safe here even though I don't like it somebody's been choosing to live like an insecure uh, mundane life when they have this better opportunity and the only way they're going to get it is to find the courage to follow their gut and their intuition and go for it but you know the assets that 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 home life or that situation carries you know this the, maybe you need to go back and watch yesterday's reading it's not about the assets but for some of you it is and you know that's the lesson we talked about yesterday but whatever <laughs> ten of swords this, this this card is just not leaving the scene it's not it's constant comes up all the time somebody's betraying themselves now this is this is a completion of a difficult time but you have to you're going to have to face your own opposition you have to face your own insecurities and choose to go down that new path instead of delaying it and choosing the safe route you're going you, you've got to find the courage to step out of your safety zone Somebody, like, is so scared to go their own way. Really hurting themselves, betraying themselves, stabbing themselves. Self-sabotage. We're going to have the strength card probably coming up, I don't know. Somebody needs to find the courage. Pride and ego are a, are a problem, though. <laughs> they really, really are because, you know, that, that security, that money, those assets, that home, what the family thinks, I mean, that's a big deal, right? Well, that's ego talking. Oh, my God. Now, what, are we going to have all these tens like we had yesterday? Ten, ten, ten. Completion, completion, completion. Come on now. When is this going to end? Somebody needs to make a conscious change to drop what no longer serves them. And it's going to take a lot of courage. Do we have a bunch of weak individuals here or what? You know what you got to do. It's time to end, to complete this difficult, painful cycle that is insecure and unstable. And it's not anything that you can bank on. It's not anything you can save. You're just delaying the inevitable, hurting yourself along the way. Oh my goodness gracious, is this a freaking repeat of the last two days or what? <laughs> Jeez, um, you know, like I said, you know what you gotta do. There's no joke here. If somebody needs to be told again, it's how many times do you have to be told? You've been told over and over and over and over again, not just by me, not just by the universe. By your inner guide. How many times do you got to be told? This is about a partnership. This is, this is about a partnership, okay? This is about two people who are telepathically talking to each other, okay? It's like these people feel each other. These people talk to each other when they're not even around each other these people are meant to be together these people um, can feel each other two people are meant to come together they're talking to each other telepathically that's uh, that's the only communication they have at this time is telepathic you feel me I feel you somebody needs to find the courage to to end this situation and follow the path that they're they know they need to follow, okay? Whatever path it is, you know exactly what it is, so don't pretend that you don't.
It's part of the script. You have to find the courage to face your fears. This choice that you have to make is part of your script. It's like you have, if there's a, two people are trying to come together. They both, it's like they're talking to each other. They're, whether they even know each other now or not, these two people are talking to each other. Interesting. Twos are partnerships. And it's like a, and you look, I mean, two, 11, you could call this 11-11. I mean, I'm not going to say anything, but this is a partnership that is meant to be. There are two people that are meant to come together, but they're not coming together because somebody's not finding the communication, I mean the communication, the courage to communicate. They're not finding the, the, the courage and the inner strength to follow their intuition. Two people are supposed to come together. It's part of the script, but it's not happening because somebody has to leave a situation that's not real. Not really stable, not really secure, not long term. It's not. It's safe and that's it. Somebody is like throwing away stability, throwing away an opportunity for something that is meant to be because they're weak. They need the courage to do the right thing. There's a better suitor. There's a better option. There is a better option, but somebody keeps getting distracted and not following through with the script. Mm, see, somebody's not. There's an opportunity for love here, but like I said, they're throwing away. They're throwing away the perfect match. Why? Weak. Mm. That's really sad. It really is. There's still an opportunity for love. You've got to stop focusing on all the hurt. The regrets, the rejection, the pain, and realize that there, there is still an opportunity for love here. If you could just open your eyes and see it, choose it, choose love. People, I mean, they just don't get it. It's not about the assets. It's not about just having anybody. It's about having that perfect match. And somebody needs to end a false contract. <laughs> and stop pretending that they're not in pain. Stop pretending that they're not hurting. Stop pretending that <laughs> they're happy. Because I don't see any happiness here. None. Okay? Somebody's been distracted. Somebody has been distracted, not even seeing. I mean, this is on the outside. Somebody is not even seeing. They're not seeing that they could have this perfect match. They're throwing it away because they're not making the wrong choice. This is a choice card. This is a choice card. They're not making the right choice. This is a choice card. This is a choice card. This is a choice card. They're all reversed. Somebody is not making, there's not making the right choice in regards to a partnership. Two, 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 two. The lovers. Somebody's not making the right choice about a partnership. And then we get the two of cups up here versus the three of cups. Somebody chose like somebody else when they shouldn't have chose somebody else. And they know what they got to do. They know what they do. They know what they do. They know what they got to do. They got to find the confidence and the willpower to 
do the right thing, to do the noble thing, to act with integrity. And I think this person is recognizing, somebody is recognizing that whatever they're holding on to is overwhelming. Somebody needs to end a false contract. It's not real. And they have somebody that is better suited for them. But it's safe. It's really safe right there. Stay wherever you want. Do whatever you want. But you're going to continue to feel pain. Overwhelming pain. It's just going to get bigger and bigger and bigger. Until you collapse. It's going to happen. It's going to cause you to collapse until you hit rock bottom. It's just going to get worse and worse and worse and worse until you deal with the pain. And face your fears. Somebody is keeping their true feelings hidden because they don't want to deal with it. They don't want to deal with making that choice. It's almost like, if you could just make that choice for me, it'd be that much easier. Weak. Very weak. Somebody has a better suitor. Somebody that is better suited for them and they know it. I'm sorry, but that is exactly what this is. It's like there's there's somebody has realized or they're saying, you know, this is a loss. I'm I'm losing the love. I'm losing out on love. Somebody's realizing they are. They know that they're losing an opportunity for love. Because they don't have the confidence to let go of something that is overwhelming them. Somebody is holding on to something that isn't right. It's unrealistic and it's dissatisfying and they're wasting their time. Not doing the noble thing. We have somebody here that is greedy and unreasonable, self-centered and conceited, and only focused on everything but love. I mean, this is focused on work, focused on myself, very lackluster. You know, I don't care about anything. No, not focused. Ruthless. Could be some anger mixed in here. Somebody may be trying to protect themselves. This person is in reverse self seen it. So, or so I cannot talk for days. Self centered and conceited. This, this full moon eclipse has really affected me. I don't know about you. But we have somebody here that is just not being realistic at all. Blocking their true emotions. Pretending they're not in pain when they really are in pain. Needing to go down that new path. Needing to cross that bridge. They're at that crossroads and they have to make a choice. And they've made a wrong choice. Now they, they're probably, right now they have another opportunity to make another choice. Okay, because it's here. The choice is, it's time. You have an opportunity to make another choice right now. 
to go down a new path, to, to head out of this situation. You notice this is headed out. It's, it's not facing this, this opera. You have a new opportunity right now. He's holding the Ace of Wands, a new beginning, to have a new beginning. But you got to take a new approach. You got to come up with that new vision and you got to have that follow through. You got to take those steps. You got to go down that new road. And you're going to have to face your fears. And you're going to have to let go of the insecure situation that is unrealistic and dissatisfying. It's a false contract. There's no love there. It's all a fucking lie. Whatever. It's safe. There's probably a little bit of money there, right? There's some assets, so. Damn, that's a hard lesson to learn. Glad that ain't my lesson. Whew. Three of Cups. It's time to celebrate life. It's time to have fun. It's time to be happy. I don't know. That could mean some other things, but I'm going to get some more cards. Ooh. It's time to open your heart. Now, this is a message. This is a, a message of love. This is also friendship. Somebody... may be, ex be extending this is making progress, recognizing, doing the right thing somebody may be deciding to extend a hand, you know, a hand of friendship This is. This this is this is a romance could be blossoming from friendship. It could start out as friendship and turn into love. Progressing, because this is progressing. Friendship to love. I don't know, but my camera just died and it shouldn't have died because I just changed the battery before I started this reading, so that's been happening a lot. <clears throat> the energy has been drained in this house I don't know all kinds of things have been going crazy but anyway there's a new there's a there's a a new opportunity for love here with somebody that you may be friends with or somebody that you've been friends with or somebody that you met at a celebration or somebody that you know there's an opportunity for a reunion with somebody if that's what this if that that's how this resonates with you there's an opportunity to uh, follow your intuition follow your heart and reunite with I don't know whoever this person is I don't know um, it looks to me like somebody needs to take a playful approach. Somebody needs to be more open-minded about listening to their intuition and stepping outside of their fears because there's an opportunity for love here. There is. But somebody's choosing the safe route and choosing to stay in an insecure situation because of their, their, because of their own insecurities, you know. But it looks, you know, somebody may be deciding to complete this cycle for real. Somebody may be deciding to follow their heart once and for all. Because this person's like giving up. Giving up. And it's, he's like, this person's like giving up a partnership. We got a two on this side and a two on this side. That's not realistic. 
So somebody is giving up and they are headed towards, they're headed towards a, a love situation. And this is a card of intuition as well. So we have a lot of, somebody's intuition is really telling them to be friendly, be playful, be kind, be confident, stop crying over the loss, there's still an opportunity for love. Drop the, drop the, the burden, drop the grudge. Deal with the pain. Stop staying in the safety zone. Stop pretending, stop pretending that every, this is even realistic, that this is going to get better. It's not. You have a better opportunity. <coughs> Sorry. Communicate. See what just happened to me? Communicate. that came up really fast it was just like speak speak it's heavy it's been heavy and it's been heavy because somebody has been hiding their true feelings and they need to find the courage and the inner strength to face the fear with confidence. This is the Six of Wands. You could basically call this the same card, okay? You've got to find the courage. And there's nothing wrong with my throat. There's nothing wrong with my chest. I don't have a cold, anything. You've got to find the courage and the inner strength and to face your fear, period. You know what you gotta do. I think this has to do with a, with, a, with reuniting because this is a reunion with somebody that you love. Whether you know this person or not in this lifetime, whether you've met them yet or not, this is somebody that you do know. It is. There's, you got, you, it's like you two are talking to each other right now through the realms okay when you have the high priestess twice that's two people okay two people that are gifted psychically are talking to each other but both of these people need to let something go to come together they do whether it's a third party situation it's a family situation whatever it is i don't know what it is because this is for this is a general reading Somebody, and this could even be a grudge, okay? Something that is heavily overwhelming them. Very painful. It's time to complete this painful cycle and follow your heart. It's, this is all part of the script. One of our life lessons is strength. And if you don't learn it in this lifetime... You're going to come back and learn it in the next one. And you're and if you don't do it now, you're going to continue to live like this. You're going to continue to be overwhelmed and burdened. It's going to cause ill health. It's going to cause you to get sick. I'm telling you what, stress kills. When you don't follow your heart, you are killing yourself. It's time to get focused. And it's time to be realistic. And it's time to open your heart. And follow it. And you know exactly what I'm talking about. Some of you have been holding on to a third party situation. I'm going to throw that in there because I just came up. 
some, some of you have been holding on to a third party situation and it's time to find your confidence and hold your head up high and go find somebody else. You know it's time. It's time to stop grieving that loss. There's a still, there's an opportunity for love if you can stop focusing on the, the hurt, the third party situation. This person stabbed you, right? This person is self-centered and conceited. It was a false contract. They didn't see your worth. Go down that new road. You can't save it. If this person wanted you, they would be with you. you got to find the courage and the confidence to stop crying over what was. I know it's easier said than done. It's taken me years. But this was all part of the script. Somebody's calling in their soulmate with these two high priestesses. And the other person is calling in their soulmate. For so, so for those of you that are at that stage, you are calling in your soulmate. It's coming. There is, there is going to be a reunion with your soulmate. For those of you that are calling in your soulmate, is this somebody from the past? Is this somebody from the past? It could be. It could be. But I think that somebody has held on to a situation, the wrong one, for too long. That's what I see. I mean, it's time to it's time to make that decision. To stop pretending and get real. Somebody could definitely receive a message, you know, somebody starts flirting with them or somebody wants to start a relationship or somebody apologizes even. You've got some kind of something in his hand somebody's going to do the noble thing whatever this is somebody may receive an apology or they may just receive an, a message from somebody brand new I don't know that says hey you want to go out on a date or you want to go out with me or you whatever that could be the case for some of you but for some of you you need to end a difficult cycle in your life and you got to find the courage to do so for first so somebody is really holding on to something that is a not helping them, put it that way. And that's what I have for today. I wish that I could make this all butterflies and rainbows. But I can't. Not when people are holding on to something so painful and difficult and it needs to be released. You can't expect to get in a relationship with somebody if you haven't healed. Okay? And have it work. Or you can't expect to have a happy relationship with somebody if you're not in love with them. There's no really no love in these cards. I mean, there's a new offer of love, yes. But I think somebody is ignoring it. Okay? I think somebody's ignoring the new offer because of this overwhelming baggage that they're holding on to from who knows what. The wrong person. Somebody is with the wrong person with that lover's card reversed. It's unrealistic. Whatever. 
We're not going to keep going. Somebody doesn't want to face their fear. See that moon card? Lying. Whatever. Whatever. Anyway, it's time. It's time to face your fears. Follow your intuition. Follow your heart. And be happy again. There could be a breakup. Like somebody could be breaking up with the lover's card. There, and these, these twos are partnerships. Somebody could be really deciding it's time for to break up. This isn't real. It's not real. It's not. It's clear as mud. It's not real. Somebody's in a relationship that's not real. It's not. It's not really love. They may have gotten into it because they needed to heal. You know, they, they thought it was going to help them heal. They got into a third party situation and now it's like, damn, is that a fucking mistake? Oh, yes, it was. So, anyway, um, that's what I have for today. There's an opportunity. You Somebody could get a message, you know, an apology or, you know, start, you know, can we just be friends? Can we just be friends? Can we? This could be a new this could be a new friendship blossoming into love as well. It could go either way. Somebody's gonna have to find the courage to let go of the past hurts. Let go of the baggage. Good luck. <laughs>